we obviously got Tesla's AC technology, but Tesla's other main technology uh, was uh, scalar waves. Now, it's incorrect to call it scalar waves because they're not waves at all. And waves are not what something is. Waves are what something does. There are no waves in EM. It's like they're made up of energy and magnetic packets in the coaxial circuit of electromagnetism. The simplest way, and I hope you have a little bit of electrical understanding, the simplest way to understanding like simplex electromagnetic radiation is that these are processional pulse perturbations like geromagnetic precession. I hope you know what geromagnetic precession is. I mean, now this doesn't look like EM, but what we have here is processional. Like up here we have electricity, down here we have magnetism, we have circular polarization, uh, uh, excuse me, circular polarization or a linear polarization. So we have processional pulse perturbation, which would be conventional um, transverse electromagnetism. What about scalar wave technology? And it's just so stupid to call it scalar wave technology. But in electromagnetism, we have an oscillating pulse perturbation. And if you want to call oscillating geromagnetic precession, it's a processional pulse perturbation. But in scalar wave technology, we have non-oscillating pulse perturbation. We have rarefactions and compressions, right? Now, if I were to make a transmission from here to here, obviously I'm not only limited by um, attenuation of signal as it passes through air and as it passes through wire, like we send out uh, communications through uh, copper wires, electricity, power, or signals. Um, I'm trying to think of pulse perturbation. I'm trying to think of a, a really simple way to... Uh, to, this is a problem with field theories because most people don't have a mind geared towards field theories. Like, what's the simplest way to describe it? Too well in scalar wave technology. Obviously, we have a, a time lag. We have a time delay. So we have not only attenuation, we also have time delay. Obviously, it takes a time for this to start and for this to actually receive the signal. And what's the when we have something that has no transverse component? It doesn't partake of space and time. We have a longitudinal pulse perturbation of the ether. There are no particles involved. It is literally a pulse perturbation of the, e of the ether, but it has no oscillation. So there is no transverse components. Like here's electricity, here's magnetism. They oscillate back and forth. This is regular transverse electromagnetism. In a scalar wave technology, as opposed to the rope, we're actually started over here and it takes a delay for it to reach over here, which is what we call the speed of light. But the speed of light is not a speed, it's a rate of induction. What do you think, and this is what Tesla is talking about, and this is a key point you should understand, is why Tesla knows that, like, his AC was far superior to DC. Tesla's other main point, but nobody freaking gets, is his scalar wave technology is far superior to our electromagnetic technology of uh, Hertzian power and signal transmission because since there is no um, uh, oscillating pulse perturbation, it's purely longitudinal. What is the time delay between when I actually send a signal or send a power pulse? There's no difference between a signal and power because everything in cell phone signals and power transmission is the same thing. What's the delay between this and reception? The answer is since there's none of this, it's zero. When I start hitting hit here, instant reaction, right? Do you understand this? Let this soak into your brain for you to understand the real importance of why Tesla said scalar wave technology is so important. What is the attenuation of the signal and what is the time lag between transmission and reception? The answer to both is zero. Transmission, instant reception. Transmission, instant reception. The issue I have over here is transmission, delay, reception. Transmission, delay, reception. Transmission, delay, reception. Not only that, but I also have the attenuation because of the fact that everything's capacitance, resistance, permeability, and primitivity. Because regular conventional electromagnetism partakes of uh, magnetic permeability and dielectric permittivity, there is zero signal attenuation in scalar wave technology, where is there, depending on what sort of transmission material you're using, whether you're transmitting your cell phone through rock and granite or a rainstorm, you have signal attenuation but you don't have that in scalar wave technology. The important thing that human beings are gonna to come to understand about the brilliance of Tesla is Tesla proved, you know, fuck you, Thomas Edison, DC technology is not gonna work. AC technology is it, so we understand that, but the most important one yet is what humanity has not realized, and that's the scalar wave technology is uh, Nikola Tesla also telling us that our regular uh, power 
and signal communications of transverse electromagnetic transmission of power and signal is inefficient bullshit. And even Tinkler Tesla says this over and over again. We're talking, some people call it telluric. Okay, I don't care if you use the word telluric. Even scalar wave is incorrect because there are no waves in scalar wave technology. It is longitudinal pulse perturbations. It's instantaneous. It has no spatial oscillation. Literally, scalar technology is a null phase emission. EM is phase only. Everything within transverse electromag electromagnetism, be it power or a signal transmission, is phase. This is 100% phase. 100%. Huh? This is zero phase. There's none of this. Okay, this is EM. This is an oscillating pulse perturbation. There is no oscillating pulse perturbation in scalar wave technology, which is rarefactions and compressions. It's instantaneous. So there's no phase. There's no signal attenuation. That means you could use less power to transmit. And also when we're transmitting power, we have infinitely higher efficiency. Theoretically perfect efficiency. Because there's no transverse component that partakes of uh, dielectric permittivity or magnetic permeability. It doesn't exist in either a telluric or what we call scalar wave technology. Now the reason too that Nikola Tesla called it teleforce, and we've and we're calling it Nikola Tesla's death ray. You modern humanity we call that why well, is Nikola Tesla's death ray? Nikola Tesla called it teleforce. The reason he called it teleforce is because like telephone and telegraph where something is being distributed along a line, that uh, instead of uh, information being transmitted, force, in this case power, is being transmitted. In Hertzian waves we have cycles per second, right? And scalar wave technology, i.e. Tesla's true futuristic, and this is a technology that the U.S. government is already using, is that instead of cycles per second, we actually have volts per second. This means we could have instantaneous signal transmission, say if we had a, a base on the Mars, instant signal transmission, and the only thing that is regulated is the voltage, because if you actually are able to decipher ones and zeros in data stream by the uh, the diminution of, uh, of uh, voltage that's transmitted, that's a signal. Anything that can be accurately um, attenuated or actually uh, diminuted in transmission is a signal. All you need is a decipher on the other end, on the other computer, obviously so. So this is the reason why Tesla called it a teleforce, because it was forced transmission along longitudinal propagation. Um, really, all of this stuff is extremely simple in my mind, but I've had to dumb it down a lot just to make this video. You're like, dumb it down? I still didn't understand it. Really? I dumbed it down a lot to make this video. I hope you understood what I said. Some of you, a lot of you are like, I still don't understand what you said. You dumbed it down, but it's still too much. Well, <laughs> if you really wanted to find out, you know, maybe, I don't know, read a book on the fundamentals of, uh, well, that won't help you. Actually, that'll screw you up even more. But, uh, everything is really simple. It's either circular, transverse, you know, toroidal. Electricity and Mother Nature are really simple. Ultimately, you only have dielectricity and magnetism. Everything else is a modality thereof. Just like, you know, there's no such thing as ice and steam and water. Well, sure, there's ice and steam. No, it's all the same shit. It's all water. Steam is just a water modality. Ice is just a water modality. It's all the same stuff, of course. It's the same thing with uh, field theory. So I hope you have a better understanding of what the hell scalar wave technology is. The important thing, too, to understand is that Tesla's told you that this is the future. He said AC is the future, and of course, he's right. Nikola Tesla also said, uh, his famous quote is that, uh, today is theirs, but the future is mine. And Nikola Tesla will be proven right on that again. So.